Okay, let's have a look at my light. These are the final results. So I'm going to talk you through what I did. First of all, you'll find these on uh, Amazon or eBay, pretty cheap, like four or five quid. They're meant to make your lights look a little bit more modern, the honeycomb effect. Um, they come in a big sheet. Uh, I think it was about 40 times 80 or something like that. To uh, start off, you get your sheet once you've ordered it. Make sure you get some cleaning stuff as well for your lights. Comes with a little squeegee thing on the blade, give your lights a good clean. And then to start off with, I worked from one side. Um, it's very fiddly, so um, they are hollow in between all the gaps. So they will tend to sort of like try and pull each way. Um, starting off wasn't too bad. I just moved from one side all the way around, having to pull up uh, occasionally to make sure that it stuck down well. You'll notice in some of the corners that they will um, try and fold on themselves. So you just get the little squeegee, squeegee thing and try and push it in. Um, once you get round to the outside, it's not too, too bad. Here's another angle. Um, and then what I'm doing is just working my way across so what you want to do is make sure you're pushing out as you unfold the graphics around the lights. Make sure they stick to the light as you go. So you can see it's starting to come down nice, but there's a few little creases. I am using a uh, heat gun or a hairdryer in this case. Just to warm it up and that will help the plastic stretch out and relax a little bit onto the light. Um, just be careful because you can overheat it and mess it up. And then once you've done that, you'll see the final results all fitted. Don't look too bad for four quid. Um, so yeah, give it a go. If I was to say, well, if someone asked me, would you do it again? Probably not. Um, it was. It took about an hour on each light, um, and it was a lot of stress. So there you go.